The community of Anahuac is grieving. A car crash Saturday night left two high school students dead. Another is fighting for his life tonight in the hospital. It happened here along FM 1985, about eight miles northwest of High Island. DPS says the teens were driving fast in a BMW when they struck the back of a farm tractor on this bridge. The tractor went over the guardrail and the car caught on fire. The driver of the tractor is in the hospital tonight. So is the teen who was driving the car. Meanwhile, the other two teens were pronounced dead on the scene. And tonight, a candlelight vigil was held at Anahuac High School on the football field. 12 News reporter Ebony Coleman was there. The community of Anahuac has truly come out to support one another. Everyone from Superintendent Dennis Wagner, the parents and classmates, Kyle White Stadium was full of love. 12 News learned that members of the Anahuac Fire Department, as well as the Anahuac Chamber of Commerce, decided to have a visual for three Anahuac High School students. Two lost their lives and one is in critical condition after a car crash Saturday night. Friends and classmates wore their senior shirts in support. Once it got dark, a sea of candles lit up Kyle White Stadium. That in a moment of prayer in solitude of what the community of Anahuac has lost. One parent I spoke to told me her daughter was best friends with the driver of the crash. Since learning the tragic news, she's been trying to ease the pain for others. That mom I talked to says the only way through this situation is by supporting each other. The district did put out a statement saying that additional counseling services would be available this entire week for students and staff at the high school. In Anahuac, Ebony Coleman, 12 News.